first, our top story this hour. The U.S. says it will begin training Ukrainian troops on Abrams tanks in the next few weeks. In his nightly address Friday, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said his military is preparing new brigades to regain ground and free Ukrainians in Russian captivity. Since Russia's invasion more than a year ago, thousands of foreign citizens have answered Zelensky's call to help in the war zone, including one U.S. veteran who is now using his voice to defend Ukraine's fight for freedom. Holly Williams has more from Western Ukraine. And three, two, one. In Ukraine's capital, Kiev. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. A U.S. Air Force veteran is making a podcast. The front lines at different times were the distance from New York to Dallas. Mark Lindquist from rural Minnesota wants to tell his fellow Americans why Ukraine's fight against Russian invaders is so important. Why should Americans care what's happening in Ukraine? I was a member of the U.S. Air Force, you know, and, and the values that we fought for and decided to uh, risk our life for is the same, same values here. Lindquist calls Kyiv the new capital of the free world. It's been relatively peaceful since Russian forces were pushed back from around the city last year. Some Americans might say, we're going through tough times right now. Why are we giving tens of billions of dollars in military assistance to help another country on the other side of the world? Because I believe the United States of America has a responsibility. Why not give this equipment to those that are fighting, actively fighting for freedom? Lindquist was adopted from South Korea as a baby, served in the U.S. military, and was running for Congress before the invasion. But then he says he dropped everything to help Ukraine. Like I said, we raised $5,000. Raising money for clothes, medicine, and generators. Back home, he was also a singer with his own big band. Often performed the national anthem at sporting events. He's undoubtedly an American patriot. But now he believes it's his duty to support Ukraine's fight for independence. If there are 44 million Ukrainians who are fighting for freedom and want to be the U.S. government says it's committed more than $35 billion in security assistance to Ukraine since Russia invaded its neighbor last year. Ukraine's expected to launch a counteroffensive against Russian forces in the next few weeks. For CBS Saturday Morning, Holly Williams in Western Ukraine.